Hi, in this video, Pastor Trisha Selman will be sharing with us practical ways to stop spiritual attacks in our lives. Stay connected to this video and let your heart be open to receive and be blessed by this video production. God bless you and thank you. Can I tell you, the days that we live in, if you allow things to just happen and you become the victim of the conclusion, you will see things happen in your life that will surprise you. Every time you pray, whether it is convenient or not, you are sending words like messengers to line up in the realm of the spirit. They are like spiritual immigration officers protecting your interest. Anything that does not represent what the word of God said, they have the assignment to fight it even while you are asleep. Some of you, this is why in your sleep, you see all kinds of things happen. The word of God is engaging the realm of the spirit to your advantage. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. Listen to me. Most of the problems in our world today are spiritual in origin. Did you know that? And then do you believe that? Please believe. Please, in the name of Jesus and in the name of wisdom, believe early that most of the problems that a man will face in his lifetime, personally and institutionally, are largely spiritual in origin now when they manifest physically they will have political expressions they will have economic expressions are we together they will have sociological expressions medical expressions intellectual expressions but largely the same way all things came from the realm of the spirit all troubles come from the realm of the spirit for further study i make reference to the book of job and you will learn there that nothing just happens in this realm the book of job we've studied it a bit at least chapter one here job was a sincere man who was going about his business the bible says he feared the lord and eschewed evil and then he would offer sacrifices in advance for his children then the bible says one day something happened in the heavens is that true satan was in their midst and God made a boast of Job according to scripture. Have you considered my servant Job? And then the devil told the Lord, he said, does he serve you for nothing? Give me the permission to touch him and you will see, paraphrasing if he will not curse you to your face. And he said, okay, go. I give you permission to touch every other thing but preserve his life. Sin two, there was a certain day everything was finished in the realm of the spirit let me digress a bit and challenge you i made up my mind that nothing will be discussed in the realm of the spirit about me without my participation no way i will not be a victim of the conclusion of it no 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 i am a spirit and i dwell in a body i have the advantage of duality of realms i have to be invited in that meeting and find out whether the conclusion there has kingdom come connected to it you don't have to be there in a visionary experience the word of god is a worthy messenger that can enter the realm of the spirit and represent your interest there so when i talk of being captured in the realm of the spirit you don't need a visionary experience send the word to be present in that meeting and you are sure that your interest will be defended this is how we are represented in the realm of the spirit we don't have to necessarily be there physically the word of God uttered from the lips of faith can be captured in that meeting. So when there are principalities and powers sitting down and discussing your destiny, don't keep quiet and be the victim of the conclusion on a certain day. Listen, do you know the attack that was going to happen in the book of Esther? They used divination to find a date. It was the realm of the spirit that gave them a date to attack. They didn't just wish. So the realm of the spirit has a way of measuring the weaknesses of men and it found that day to be the most conducive for whatever reason 
it says strike on this date it has become a principle today as military men most terrorists who go for war they have priesthood that that go along with them they don't just hold the sword they tie all kinds of things that represent their participation with the realm of the spirit so if you are discussing my destiny in the realm of the spirit even while i'm sleeping the word of god will show up in that meeting invited or not provided you mention my name mentioning my name is the invitation you cannot mention my name and say i'm not invited can i tell you the days that we live in if you allow things to just happen and you become the victim of the conclusion you will see things happen in your life that will surprise you every time you pray whether it is convenient or not you are sending words like messengers to line up in the realm of the spirit they are like spiritual immigration officers protecting your interest anything that does not represent what the word of god said they have the assignment to fight it even while you are asleep some of you this is why in your sleep you see all kinds of things happen the word of god is engaging the realm of the spirit to your advantage listen if you don't believe what I'm sharing now, you are not a Christian. Believe me. Because this is how the word of God works. The word of God does not just work in this physical realm alone. No. He's been exalted above thrones, dominions, and every name that is named. Whether in this world or in the world to come. They were talking about Job. Do you think that Satan just left the presence of God and just ran to Job? He summoned demons. Now here's what will happen on this day thursday will this man will wake up in the morning as before but then it will be tragedy from morning till night but now in christ you have the advantage why because the spirit of god if the holy spirit can search the mind of god he can search anybody's mind don't worry about trying to know what the devil is doing the holy ghost saves you that trouble the challenge with many people is that we are not discerning enough to know so the Holy Ghost comes and then he tells you what to do and you fire those scriptures send them to the realm of the spirit scriptures just enter and say what is going on here we are discussing his downfall based on what it is written you shall be the head and not the tail this is true believe it I want you to believe what I'm teaching you this is how we reign in this kingdom so there are many of you now wanting to know who is meeting against you is a waste of time you can only respond to the ones that you know but the word of god complete and whole send it in prayer send it through your confessions to the realm of the spirit to form a garrison around your destiny Let me tell you this before jesus died he kept sending the word that i will die but after three days i will resurrect can i tell you if jesus christ did not send the word those gates will not open because now being dead he did not have a body and according to the law of territory once you exit this realm it will take someone with a body to call you from that realm you cannot enter without a body i know that the gate said who is this king of glory but let me ask you a question who said lift up your heads the same way you can be sleeping and a scripture is saying touch not my anointed see if you don't understand this you will not understand the ministry of prayer investments that you can send it into 2024 it is only you that celebrates new year the word of god does not celebrate new year there is no such thing as new year you are being trained to know how to be victorious this is what you are receiving a strategy hear me i will tell you the principal way the church is used as a strategy to bring everything to the obedience of Christ do you know how 
in this kingdom the church executes its role as a strategy through the power of speakings words the primary tool for change for a believer is not just physical action the words especially when you are dealing with demonic forces when you are dealing with systems and structures there is now a place for intelligence and active participation but when you are dealing with the realm of the spirit it is immaterial even though it is real so the weapons of our warfare but they are mighty through God the Bible says to the pulling down of strongholds it says those weapons they are able to cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ and to bring every thought to the obedience of Christ hear me for every time you see evil and darkness happening and you don't do anything about it and say i am helpless you are insulting your construction many times because we have not seen the power of words in action we feel that all we do is it just to pray go and ask daniel in babylon ask what the parliament sought for they said please silence this man for 30 days satan wants to act but every time the, the the spirits of the medis and the passions the word from daniel will step into the realm of the spirit and and completely abort that process they had to come down with an advice that was backed up by government silence this man from prayer just for 30 days to give us room to cause havoc it is not lack of money that is making the devil prevail over your family i told you that when it starts from the realm of the spirit when it arises physically it will now have an expression whether it will now diverge itself according to different areas so when you see that everybody who has a job in your family is losing their job everybody who has joy joy does not seem to last in that family the fact that you can discern it is proof that God is holding a battle axe that is refusing to rise in his hand God is saying I want to do something in this family and here's what a lot of us say well I'm, I'm not the wealthiest person I'm not the most educated and we bring all those carnal and fleshly excuses let me tell you what to do from tonight step into your room switch from being a man to being a strategy lock that door and say father there is something that can be done over this situation i may not be able to physically give my brother a job i may not be able to physically stop this plague of death but in the name of jesus step into that control room and begin to send words to manipulate realities from the realm of the spirit until they become consistent with the word of god do you believe what i'm sharing with you can I tell you this every time you pray only in the face of danger you are praying late the real advantage of prayer is to go as a forerunner to your results that means tomorrow's prayer should not be prayed tomorrow uh -uh, you prayed late already Tomorrow's prayer should enter tomorrow and wait for that day. So that anything that is inconsistent with God's word is stopped immediately. Words are powerful. The Bible says, he used words, he upholds all things by the word of his power. Have this mentality. You are not a nuisance to society listen we keep using mundane parameters and not not mundane because their vanity is necessarily but that based on the superiority of what you have we feel that the only time you are relevant is when i have money our world loves and celebrates and even worships money or sometimes we feel some level of extended intellectual qualification so we feel i am only relevant if i can buy a car 
or I can buy physical things but everyone here who is in Christ I want you to know that you are a strategy and there is something you can do if you cannot bring physical money to solve the problem if you cannot use influence to partner with systems and structures to make change you can handle the wicked spirits that work tirelessly let me tell you this if God opens your eyes to see the spiritual activities demonically speaking that go on from morning till night over the destiny of one person who is not even a preacher you will be afraid and it will jack you up to be serious we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.